So Dave, three quarterfinals down, one to go. Two very attractive players involved, Sean Murphy and Mark Allen. They're close friends, but there's no doubt there's going to be rivalry out there today with so much at stake. Definitely. I mean, they play a very similar game, both very attacking. Uh, Sean Murphy's got one of the best cue actions you'll ever see. Uh, Mark Allen, you know, very ferocious uh, competitor when he gets stuck in. Of course, he played here at the Championship League. He played well, I thought. He was a bit unlucky not to get through his group. Sean Murphy sat that one out. Uh, would have been watching it all, I'm sure, champing at the bit to, to get back playing again. Yes, Murphy's been out for quite some time, so maybe he'll suffer from the same competitive rust as we saw afflict John Higgins. But I think in terms of the head-to-heads, he should be regarded as the favourite. 13-5. I mean, it's quite surprising, actually, uh, how one-sided it is. Yeah, I mean, Sean, of course, he had a, a terrible season last year. Really uh, disappointing for him. He's one of those players, though, you just feel that he's too good not to start winning again. And, of course, he has done this season. And if you look at his prize money, obviously, he's second seed in this tournament. He's earned over 400000 more this season than last season. He's won two ranking events. So, although there's been the break in, in the season, I think he'll be confident coming here. He knows that the, the form is in there, I think. When you're in your late 30s and you have a season like he did, there must have been serious doubt in his mind about what was going to happen in the future. But I think he's been the comeback player of the season. Yeah, I think the, the, the key with Sean really, he just loves it. You know, he's one of these players. Some players, Stephen Hendry would be an example in the old days, if he got knocked out of a tournament, he wouldn't even put the television on, never mind the snooker on, he wouldn't even acknowledge that the event was on. Sean just loves the game so much, a bit like someone like Stuart Bingham or Mark Selby. You know, they, they love being part of it. And I think that that sort of love of the game has carried him through. I'm sure there have been dark times, but he's been working with Chris Henry, his coach, and just raring to go. He did an interview on the WST website and he said, you know, his whole life he's defined himself as a snooker player and it's been difficult having this time off not playing. So, yeah, I, obviously he's rusty in terms of competitive action. I'm sure he's been practising, though, and I, I expect him to play well, actually. In terms of Mark Allen, merely being here in the top eight points earners on the one-year list is an achievement in itself. And he's one of those kind of players, to me, he can win any tournament he enters. I think six semi-finals this season, so that speaks for itself. Uh, four in ranking events. Yeah, absolutely. And as I say, he's got that sort of competitive, uh, you know, guile about him. You know, he really wants to win. Maybe he's just fallen short in a few tournaments. Maybe if you look at his record, you would have expected him, considering his talent, to have won more. But he's won more than most. And yeah, he'll be up for this as well. I think it's an interesting one. As you say, they're friends, but you have to set that aside. I think that what they'll like is they each play a similar game. So it's going to be an open game. Um, they're not going to get bogged down too much, I don't think. And this is the culmination of the three event Coral Series. Of course, we had the World Grand Prix and the Players' Championship before this. There's a £100,000 bonus for the player who tops the Coral Series. Only three players can now top it, and Sean Murphy is one of them if he were to win the event. It's got to be a motivation, hasn't it? And I think it's good to have these little uh, sort of carrots dangling in the background. Well, not so little carrots, actually. Yeah, I mean, Judd Trump is, is I guess, still the favourite to sort of snaffle that. But, yeah, that could be a, a motivation. Bottom line is, though, it's, it's a very, very tough tournament to win. Whoever wins has got to play Mark Selby in the semi-finals. Um, I think this could be close. It's hard to call. I would probably just favour Murphy, but not by much. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe 9-7 Murphy, but it could easily go the other way. They both find players.